Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to set up an intermediary job that will help us classify our documents and send them to the right hot folders. The concept behind it is using triggers or IntelliTags to identify the type of document and then use the export filters to export those documents to the right hot folders, where they will be then processed using the desired settings. The first step is to create a new job. I'm going to click on the new batch button and then run the job wizard. We're going to call this job classification job. We are going to use OCR reading and IntelliTag search. We don't need type detection. If your language is not on the menu, you can just leave English United States. On the split options, usually we would go for split manually, but this will depend on your setup. And then we can choose the generic field configuration. The export should be OK like this. And then we click on Next and then Finish. We are going to create a batch and then import our documents. I'm going to use 300 resolution and then apply to the next file. After all the documents are imported, first I'm going to create a new field called type. And then we are going to start creating our IntelliTags that will tell Chronoscan which type of document that is. For this example, we are going to use the words order confirmation, invoice, and purchase order present on our documents to set the value for the type field. To create the IntelliTags, first we click on the type field and then we select the IntelliTag search button. When we try to create the first IntelliTag, the program will ask us to create a new IntelliTag list. Just click yes. We name it type or whatever you like, and then we click OK. Now we want to look for the text, purchase order, and then we want to set a static value if the IntelliTag is found, which on this case is exactly the same. So we look for purchase order, and then we set purchase order to the type field. Now, we create another one for order confirmation. Again, we are looking for order confirmation, and then we want to set the static value order confirmation. And finally, for the invoice, we look for the word invoice, and then we want to set the static value invoice. When we look at our documents, the type field will always tell us which type of document that is. Now it is time to set up our export options. I'm going to click on the export batch button and then on the existing module, I'm going to click on the file system and then on options. On the output directory section, I'm going to put in my main directory path, and then I'm going to add the value for the type field, docfield.type. Now, all I have to do is to make sure the hot folders for my documents are looking for those paths. I'll click on the Save button, and then we're going to close. Now, I already have inside kernel scan my invoice, purchase order, and order confirmation jobs. I'm going to show you how to set up the export and hot folders for each. I'll open a batch from the invoice job, and then first we're going to set up the export. I'm going to add a PDF and a M files module. 
I'm going to use original PDF pages because the images were already generated on the classification job and then have image compression as zero. Now on the mFiles export, I'm just going to set up everything accordingly. I'm going to choose my vault. I'm going to choose my object type and then object class invoice. And then I'll add my metadata fields. Having that set up, it is time to set up our hot folder. We're going to add a new configuration. I'm going to call it invoice hot folder. We're going to choose the invoice job and then PDF import. The folder is going to be my invoice output folder for the classification job. I'm going to make sure my import settings are correct. And then I'm going to save the original PDF page. On the processing options, I'll set it up correctly. And then I'll hit save. The last step missing is to create a hot folder for the classification job. I'm going to call this classification hot folder. And then we're going to use the classification job. We're going to import PDF files. This is how they are coming in. And then I'm going to choose the correct folder here. I'm going to make sure all the import settings are good. And then save the original PDF page as well. For processing options, I'm going to make sure everything is okay. And then we are ready to go. With the hot folder running, we are ready to start importing our files to see the magic happen. The files will be found by the classification job and from the classification job, they will be sent to the correct final jobs. And from the final jobs, we should see them on M files. When everything has run, we can check inside M files the three new documents purchase order, order confirmation, and invoice. So that's it. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.